just here and draw a pirate ship. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. For this lesson, we're using a pencil first and then a marker. You also need some paper and someone call it. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We're using marker paper to draw on. That's because we're going to draw and color with markers at the end. So first, let's use our pencil to draw the main guidelines for our pirate ship. Let's start by drawing the top of our pirate ship. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes across our paper. Yeah, and then let's come in just a little ways and we're gonna draw the bottom of the boat. We're gonna come down then we're gonna come back up and connect. So it kind of looks like the letter U or almost like a bowl. And we have two lines that extend past on each side. This, we're gonna, we can come out a little further towards the edge of our paper and then we're gonna come back in. And then back here, let's do it a little different. We're gonna come down and then connect in. Then right here in the middle of the boat, let's draw a diagonal line down. Then we're gonna come across and then we're gonna come back up. Then let's erase this line that comes across the top of our boat. There you go. Then let's draw the masts. Those are the big poles that stick up to hold the sails. We're gonna draw one right in the middle of our boat. We're gonna draw it kind of high. We're gonna come up. And then up here at the top, let's draw a short line over, or you could draw a point, and then we're gonna come back down, but we're gonna get further away towards the bottom. I'm gonna try to hold my paper straight. <laughs> and then we're gonna come down. So I'm gonna try to pull that straight towards me so the line looks nice and straight. Are you gonna redraw it? Yeah. Cool. That's the nice part about drawing with our pencils. We can get all of the main lines just the way we want them before we use our marker. Yeah. And one of the reasons why I thought we should use our pencils first with drawing a pirate ship is we're gonna draw the sails in front of the mast. So let's draw a pole that comes straight across here and then also here. Then let's make these a little thicker. We're gonna draw another line straight across below it that matches. Yeah. And then let's connect the ends of both of those. And then up here, let's extend the mast a little higher so that we can put the crow's nest up here, which is a little basket or a place where a person could stand or sit and keep an eye out so they could see really high when they're up here. So we're gonna do another line that goes across. Then we're gonna draw two lines down on each side to draw kind of a rectangle shape. And then let's erase the mast that goes through the crow's nest. And also let's erase the mast that goes through the cross bars. Now remember, it's okay these lines don't have to be perfect or it can be a little messy too because these are just guidelines. Now let's draw another mast. Let's draw it right here in the front and I'm gonna draw another line next to it. We're gonna start at the top. We'll come down and get a little thicker towards the bottom. And then we're gonna draw those crossbars again. Let's see. And all of these different parts of the ship have names. I'm not sure what this crossbar is called. I bet our art friends do. I bet they know what it's called. I'm gonna draw another one that's smaller up here. And I'm drawing up two lines on top of each other and then connecting the side. And it's just repeating the same steps that we did for this. So we're going a little faster. Then let's also erase the mast going through those crossbars. And these hold the sail in place. And then we can also draw, let's draw one more back here on the back of the ship. So I'm gonna draw it here. And these are all shorter than the main mast that's right in the middle. And then we're gonna draw another line that comes next to it and gets wider down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna draw one more right here. That's the top one is shorter than the bottom one. So I'm gonna draw it like this. I'll draw another one right below it. Let's erase those mass lines that go through those bars. 
And now we're ready to switch to our marker. We've got all of the main guidelines for our pirate ship drawn in with the pencil, so now we can switch. Let's start adding the details with our marker. First, let's ink in the ship, but we can first start by drawing the water. I'm gonna draw a water line right here going across the bottom of our boat. So we want part of the boat going below the water. Okay, now let's add the details for our boat. I'm gonna draw on top of the pencil line, but I'm gonna stop at the water. I'm not gonna go underneath. And if we want to, we could also even erase that pencil line just so that it doesn't confuse us. There we go. It's a little easier to remember not to draw over that pencil line. Nice. Now let's draw a line on top of the pencil line back here. And let's draw on top of the boat. So I'm gonna go across, down, over, back up, and then we'll even come back here and finish back here. And I think this is usually where the captain's quarters were. He had the big part in the back of the boat. Yes. Okay, now let's add more details. I'm gonna draw another line that matches what we just drew. So I went up, a little up over here, and then I'm just tracing the same line, but higher across the whole thing. Now let's draw port windows. We can just add little circles. I'm gonna draw two circles up here in the front, and then maybe we have a bunch back here. I'm gonna draw, well, we could just draw two back here in the captain's quarters. And also, what, what do we need to draw right here? Cannons. Cannons, yeah, sticking out of the side. Let's first draw squares. So I'm gonna draw one square like that. I'm gonna draw another square right next to it. And then a, one more. Let's draw three cannons. Then we're gonna draw a circle inside of the square, each of the squares. And we could also draw a smaller little dot inside for the rest of the cannon. Then sometimes these little holes for the cannons had little doors that would pop open. So we could add a little rectangle shape on the very top of each cannon. Yeah, that looks awesome, good job. Let's also trace over this front part of our boat right here. I think this is called the bow, and then this was called the bow sprit, and a lot of the rigging for the sail would tie off up here so you could get lots of sails. Let's add railings to our boat. I'm gonna add a few up here on the front. So I'm gonna draw a line up, over, and then down. So we've got a little rectangle shape. Then we can draw another line across the top. I love how much detail we're gonna add. And our art friends could add even more details if they want, or they could leave even some of these off. They could change their drawing in any way that they want. Let's add another railing back here. So I'm gonna draw another rectangle shape. Oh, and I'm gonna add another line on top because it wasn't as tall as this one and then we'll add the railing going down. Next, let's draw the sails. Let's draw two curves. We're gonna start up here in the front. We're gonna draw two curves, one here. We're gonna curve down to there, and we're gonna draw these curves so it looks like our pirate ship is going really fast. The wind is catching the sail. So we're gonna curve all of the lines going forward. There we go. And then let's draw another curve down here in the bottom. Then we're gonna draw another sail down here and we're just gonna stop it maybe right here, just floating. Yeah. And then we can draw another curve here. Let's add another one of these crossbars down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna draw two lines on top of each other right below the sail. There you go. And then let's connect the left and also the right side. Now let's trace over this bar right here. We can trace over the two 
horizontal lines, and then the two ends. Let's do the very top bar up here. Now look, you can barely see the mask going through the sail. So right down here, let's draw the two lines here. And then also in between the sail and that bar, then don't, don't draw on top of the pencil that goes through the sail. Come up here at this very little spot right here. And then we're gonna draw the very top of the mast. Yes, we did it. Okay, now let's switch to our eraser and we can even erase those pencil lines of the mask going through the sail. Well, it's starting to look really cool, Austin. Yeah. You're doing great. Thank you. Now let's add the sails to the main mast. We're gonna do the same thing. Let's start up here at the very top. We're gonna draw a curve coming down. I'm gonna draw these coming in to the, to the bar down below. Yes, and then one more. Then we're gonna draw the bottom curving up. Then let's do the same thing for the next sail. We're gonna come down here and we can stop kind of in the middle, just floating anywhere you wanna stop. Then we can draw a curve up to connect the bottom of those. And then we're gonna do another crossbar like we did right here. So let's draw two lines connecting the bottom of the sail. And then we can connect those lines on the left and also on the right. It's almost like we're putting together a model of a pirate ship yeah. because it has so many different parts. Now we're gonna draw these two lines going across here. And then let's connect the left and also the right. Then we'll repeat up here and connect the right and the left. Then let's trace over the little crow's nest up here. We're gonna trace over the pencil lines. And then let's trace over the mass. So we're gonna draw down here. We don't wanna draw through the bar. We're gonna draw in between the bar and the sail. Yeah, and then come up here, do the same. Then let's come all the way up to the crow's nest and draw over those lines. Then we can also switch to our pencil and erase those lines going through the sails. Now let's add the last sail back here on the very back of our boat and we're just repeating all of those same steps. So I'm gonna go a little faster. Now we're tracing over the pencil lines for the crossbar and this top bar. And then we can also trace over the mast going down. Then in this little spot right here in between the sail, then we'll draw the very top. Let's switch to our eraser and we can erase the pencil lines on that last sail. Now it just looks like a regular ship in the water. What are we missing? The skull and pirate bones. Yeah, the crossbones. Let's add it right here to the top. Let's do it right here up high. So first I'm gonna draw a, almost like a circle, but we're not gonna complete the bottom. We're gonna leave a little space at the bottom. Then let's draw a bumpy line for the teeth at the bottom of our skull. Then we can add two circles for the eyes and color them in. Then we're gonna draw the bones. So I'm gonna draw two lines sticking out of the top left going diagonal. And then we can do the same two on the other side. Then we're gonna add two down here in the bottom and also on the bottom right. Okay, now we gotta draw the end of the bones. We're gonna draw two bumpy lines. And then let's add those bumpy lines on each bone. Let's also add flags at the top of our pirate ship. We're gonna draw them coming this way since the wind is blowing this way. That's what makes the ship go forward. You actually think that the flags might go this way, but because the wind's blowing, we want it to go this way. So I'm gonna draw another little curve that connects to a point here. Let's do the same thing at, on the top of this mast and also this one. So we've got three flags. Okay. 
Let's also add rigging. That's the ropes that connect to the mass and help make it more stable. So I'm gonna add one there that connects to the front. Then we can also add, I'm gonna add one coming down here on the back. We can also add these anywhere you want. I'm gonna add a few here. I'm gonna add two here, and I'm gonna add two over here. Well, maybe even longer ones. I'm gonna add another one that comes down from here. And then maybe another one here. And one last one, maybe right there. And I, those probably are in the wrong spot, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Your ship would probably go <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> and we did it. We finished drawing our pirate ship, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our pirate ships and they turned out so cool, especially all colored in. Yeah, I think so too. And I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. Or you can color it any way you want. Yeah, and you can also even add more details. I added an anchor and also texture on the boat so it looks like it's made out of wood planks. You could also put pirates on the boat. Oh, yeah. That would be really cool. You could put the pirate captain here. You could also put somebody up in the crow's nest and, and maybe somebody swimming with the sharks. Oh, yeah. We used our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers to color with. You could use a different brand of markers or you could use something completely different like color pencils or even crayons. Now, if you have the same set that we're using, you can use the same colors. We used a really dark brown, 94, for the main part of the boat. And then we also used a darker 92 brown for the texture on the boat. Then what brown did we use for the mass and also the railings? 103. Yeah, 103 brown. Then we used our black for the sails and also 66 blue for the water. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a pirate ship. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take time to color your drawings and add even more things like pirates. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.